Evening all, hope you're well. Well, a couple of people have asked me how you eat heron without getting the bones, because we all know heron are full of bones. But there is a knack to eating them. I've been eating them since I was six year old. And there is a knack to eating them, knew that about it. But they are bloody lovely. Well, today I'm just pan frying them in the old traditional method. I have mentioned how to do it on a previous video. All you do is head them, scale them, cut the heads off, gut them, take, wash out the bloodline, notch them three times each side, daze them in a bit of flour, and then pan fry them slowly for about 12 minutes each side so they're nice and crispy. Well, at the minute they're still on the fur side. I'll turn them over in a minute. But they do smell cracking. I have got the old extractor fan on because you all know they do stink a bit when they cook. But I don't understand why people don't cook them indoors very often. You always hear of people cook them outside because of the smell, but people pay £700 for an extractor fan and too scared to use it. I don't understand it, but hey ho, each to their own. Well, they've been cooking nicely for about 12 minutes now, so I'm just going to flip them over. They should be nice and crispy. Oh, look at that, smashing. That's how you want heron, nice and crispy and well cooked. I always cook heron to death really, compared to what most chefs do, but that's the traditional way to eat them, and that's how I like them. You can't beat them like this. Traditional is always the best when it comes to cooking traditional foods. People know how they like them, that's why they cook them like it. Not two minutes each side like most chefs, so they're all soggy and flabby. You gotta cook heron well really, in my opinion. Well, I've now had 12 minutes on the other side, so they'll be done. Time to turn off the gas and get them on a plate. Cool, it's absolutely cracking they do, and they look lovely too, nice and crispy. Sometimes you see people cook them, they all look snotty in a pan, but you've got to have them crispy on the outside, ain't you? That's part and parcel of having a good errand. <clears throat> Time to get them out. They don't, don't they look smashing? And the first thing you got to do, plenty of malt vinegar on them, cut through the flat. They're very oily and fatty fish, so you need a bit of vinegar to cut through the fat. I like most chefs nowadays wouldn't use vinegar, they'd use lemon juice, but that's how I like them. Now I'm going to show you how to eat them and not get many bones, because they are bony, but this way you get rid of the most of the bones. The first thing to do is get the tine of the fork and just run it down the back. That'll then split the skin. Then you get your fork underneath the edge of the meat and flip it up. See that? Don't scrape it. Just go under and lift it up. And just flick and just flick the meat off. As you can see, all them bones there. Always up and away. And that bit up and away. See lot left all them bones there. There might be a few in that bit there, so I'm just gonna get the foot, edge of the knife, run it under it and pull them up. And the last bit, stick the fork under and lift. Look, you can't see hardly any bones in none of that. You see all the ribs are there. Don't know if you can see all the bones along the backbone what come off, they're all there. I'll get a bit closer shot for you. So if you just lift them up, but you can see all the bones along the backbone are there and all the ribs. So there isn't many bones, there's hardly no bones in the fish at all. Then the next thing you do is you grab the backbone 
I'm have to put it back on the stand. I can't do it with my hands. <laughs> and the next bit you do, you grab hold of the backbone, put the fork underneath to hold the meat down, and just tease it out. You see, look there. All the bones along there. Look from above. You see all the bones there. There's very little bones in that. Heron now. They're actually all gone. That's a knack of eating heron without getting any bones. Ever so easy, ever so simple. But that's just a basic technique. Always lift the fish straight up off the bone. And then all the bones die on the backbone. Easy peasy. Now after that, I'm gonna go sit at the table and scoff all the heron with glee with a couple of rolls. Lovely jobbly. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You may have learned something. Catch you later. Bye.